Well, there's been you know a serial change over the last you know decade, and it's continuing to accelerate. Five years ago, it was about a 50-50 split between R&D spending being on physical product to software and services. Uh, we've now gone into a crossover, and uh, the majority of uh, um, R&D spend currently is on software and services globally across all industries. And actually, by 2020, we expect uh, services alone, R&D-focused uh, spending, uh, will exceed that of physical product. Well, a great example of this transition um, is a nearly two-century-old company, John Deere. Up until maybe a decade ago, they were exclusively focused on the mechanical excellence of the product, you know, better engines, better wheels, transmissions, uh, blades to better cut the soil. But they started looking at digitization of those products, and they've invested more and more into software, into sensors to gather data about the performance of the machine, the soil, and what's happening as they do a planting and plowing. And increasingly, it's a huge part of the differentiation that they bring with the product in terms of what separates their tractor you know, from their competitors. Additionally, it's creating new revenue streams and business models, and in some cases, uh, they are now in competition with completely non-classical, non-traditional competitors. And the reason it's happening, not just because we can, it's technologically possible, but customers, whether they be consumers or business customers, are expecting it. They know that you can do more with the technology than they have in the past. But as always, we're really concerned what moves the needle in terms of corporate performance. And the thing we found was that if you devoted uh, a bigger portion of your software spend earlier, you grew faster than your key competitors. And we see that accelerating going forward.